Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing video and not only that, but a coach unboxing video. This is take two for this coach bag, but don't go away before you see it because I'm gonna show you some of the straps I have to go with this beauty. So it's not just about the unboxing, it's also about how to mix and match it with what I have already in my wardrobe. I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into the box. So this package came from Bloomingdale's. A few days ago, I opened this same bag from Bloomingdale's and it was pretty wrinkled down around the bottom. And my other soft tabbies, I've had several different leather ones. They haven't been that wrinkled. And when I tried to smooth the bottom part out, it just wouldn't smooth out. I felt like there was too much leather and that they hadn't pulled it taut whenever they sewed it. Once again, Bloomingdale shipped in a box, which is wonderful because a lot of times lately, Bloomingdale's has not been shipping in boxes. They have been shipping in plastic bags. And while this is partially factory wrapped, it's looking good so far. I'm going to have to get out my glasses. It is not all the way factory wrapped. So if it had come in a plastic bag, it could have gotten damaged. It could have gotten poked, punctured, wounded in some way along the route. So let's go ahead and pull her out. I'm going to put on my purple glasses. I don't know if they look purple to you guys. They're kind of a, they're kind of almost a neutral purple. These are new, I mean relatively new. They are Versace and they have little studs on the sides, which I think is so cute. It reminds me of my Valentino bags, but it is Versace. Versace is competing or is copying Valentino a bit with the studs. I haven't seen them really do that with their bags, so I think it's a cool little accent though on the glasses. The other new thing I wanted to show you, and I keep forgetting to show this, is this, not that one, is this particular paper clip bracelet in the middle. It is in 14 karat yellow gold, and you can see that the links are elongated compared to this one that I got from Etsy. I got this one a long time ago. I'm not sure who I got it from, but this one here in the middle I got from Sam's Club, and it was probably half the cost of this one. It's a little lighter weight, but it's really sturdy. I tried to bend one of the links and I couldn't, and it was priced at $199, and it was on the website. So if it's still on the website, I'll link it. I just think it's so pretty, and I've got all three colors of gold there. I have two colors in my ring, and I just did my nails, so I'm not too embarrassed to show them. And then I also have all three colors of gold in this ring, although it's hard to see the yellow gold because it's just right there in the middle. All right, so it's so far it's so good. I mean, the finish on ivory is really tough like it is on chalk to get it absolutely perfect. So probably when I take this bag outside, I'll find some tiny little thing, but I've learned to kind of accept that with the ivory bags and the chalk bags. My pillow tabby had a couple little spots where the color didn't take to the leather. Sometimes you'll get little black specks on the bag and I wonder if it's little drips of the glazing possibly or if it's just little pinhead spots where the the ivory color or the chalk color just didn't saturate the leather enough. I don't know what the case is but I've seen that a fair amount with smooth leather bags in really light colors like ivory and chalk. There is a little bit of wrinkling right there where the the suede on the inside is not hooked super taut to the exterior leather, but I am a-okay with that because look how smooth this top part is. That is one thing about the soft tabby is when you are buying these, if you get a chance to look at them before you buy them, if you can find one that is smooth across the top, that's like the best situation you can have. And you can see that there is a little bit of kind of I don't know, looseness to the leather at the bottom, but it's nothing like the one I had before. Wrapping is flying out of the bag, everywhere. I plan on keeping this bag, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm just like, woo, it's a party in my closet, throwing the paper everywhere. I'm gonna have a big old mess to pick up. I could throw it into the box and then I would have less of a mess, but no, not me. We're gonna have some fun. It's like confetti. Woo! Okay. 
I'm going to have to get my glasses on to look at it again more closely, but so far so good. For a while, Coach was hooking the keeper. I call this the keeper. It's the little leather bit that holds down the tail of the strap. They were hooking it to the bag with a little plastic thing like they hold the price tags on with, but they didn't do that here. And so that's one thing you always want to make sure you have when you do unbox your bag is the keeper because sometimes those go missing. Set pretty much on the middle setting. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to slide that keeper up. It's nice and tight. A lot of times the keepers are not tight and so they just fall off even when you're using them. But as long as your, your clip is hooked to the bag, then you shouldn't have a problem. Typically, if I keep the short strap on, I will clip it in front so it can hang down like that. And that's if I don't put a chain on the bag. And oftentimes I will put a chain on the bag. And then I'll put this little tag in the middle and then I'll put the, the other clip for the long strap on the back. That sort of just keeps things a little neater so they don't get tangled. And when they get tangled, they tend to come unclipped sometimes. The other thing, the other tip to prevent your coach bags from coming unclipped is to have the back side of this facing the bag rather than having the clip side facing the bag because that way the clip is less likely to get snagged on the flap and come undone. I have some bag organizers on the way for some of my other bags and so I am like stealing this from my Gucci Marmot bag but whenever all is said and done I'm probably going to take the pink one from my medium Valentino Roman stud bag and I'm going to go ahead and, and put that inside of this bag. I tend to leave the little oh what's it called the little bit of foam there and around the zipper head there until I actually wear the bag because then I know if I have worn it yet. If I haven't worn it then that's still there and that way if I ever decide to sell the bag because I haven't used it I can say it's new or not because if I leave that there then I haven't used it. But you can see this organizer it's a little small for this bag but it works and it does help to smooth out that bottom. I mean it's not perfection but this is soft leather and it will get a little slouchy a lot like the Fendi that I unboxed the last time we visited with each other. So I'm okay with that. I just didn't like how it was pulling on the other bag. So now I've got the bag all undressed for the price tag. That's another thing I tend to leave on until I carry the bag the first time, but not always because if I spray the bag with Colonel Carbon Pro, then I don't like to leave the tag on it because this could leave print on the leather accidentally and that would be a bad thing. So here is the bag crossbody. I'm not wearing an outfit that really complements it, but you can see that it stands out at least on the black. And this is on the middle setting, right in the exact middle. I'm 5'8 and I'm about 145 pounds. The bag is empty. It's lightweight when it's empty. You can easily pick up the front handle and put it on like this. And sometimes I like to extend the handle on these soft tabbies. You can buy these little extenders on Amazon and you can do it on both sides, but typically I just do it on one side on the back. I like this drop a little better sometimes than just the leather and I'll just do it on the back. It works better on the pillow tabby to do it on both sides because the pillow tabby strap is a little shorter than the soft tabby strap is. But if you do it on both sides, then you've got it even and it truly is like a long shoulder bag then. So now that I've showed you the straps that this bag comes with, I'm going to disconnect both of them, set them aside, and I have a few different chain strap type options for decoration, as well as a few different web straps for decoration as well. First, let me just say that the C chain that came with the Dinky 19 is longer than the C chain that has been available on the Coach website lately. The C's are also different. You can see that the C's on the currently available C chain, which is this one, are a little bigger. The problem with the C chain that's currently on the website, if it is, I mean it sells out all the time, is that it is just so close to the C that I'm afraid it's going to scratch it up. And I mean it works. You see, like once you get the strap on, it's gonna hold it like this. 
and you're gonna have it being banging up against the bottom part of the C. So for that reason, I don't really like the C chain that's on the coach website with this bag, as well as I like the C chain that came with the Dinky 19 a few years ago on this bag. And I'm sorry, guys, I don't wanna say that because I would love for you to be able to buy it easily, but see how that hangs down lower? It just works better with this bag. If I look flustered, it's because I'm running around my closet like a mad woman, gathering stuff up to show you. But I just wanted to tell you that the reason I purchased this bag is because I sold my ivory pillow tabby. And when I sold my ivory pillow tabby, I no longer had a solid ivory bag to go with some of the straps that I'm about to show you. One of the straps came from this beautiful upwoven field tote. I have sold all but two of my Field Tote 22s just because I'm moving more towards styles that either have a flap or a zip as opposed to being open. I want to keep my Marc Jacobs Mini the Tote Bag and Cement as well as this one. I currently have this beauty for sale for $315 and she doesn't come with the poof that I'm showing you but she does come with this gorgeous signature strap and this is like definitely a custom look. You can't get directly from Coach because I purchased the strap separately. It's currently on the Coach website for $95. I was gonna keep the web strap for my Cassie 19, but if you really want the web strap that came with this bag, I will still sell it for the 315, and then I have others that are interested in buying this separately. But I am gonna include this little charm that I created from a larger Coach charm that I found on eBay a while back. It's a leaf with little C's on it. So that's $315. Let me know if you would be interested. In fact, I might come down just a little bit. So if you're interested, let me know. So the strap that came with this beauty is this one. And I think it is a fabulous strap. It's very neutral, very soft, very much up my alley in terms of color palette. It's just like a beigey, nudie pink color, a lot like my Gucci Marmont in Porcelain Rose and my Prada re-edition in the Cameo Beige. In fact, I think it would be beautiful with that bag as well. Some of these straps I have a hard time parting with, and it's not so much the bag that I love, it's the strap that it comes with. And that's why I just, like my tallies, for instance, they are fantastic bags, but I probably wouldn't have three of them if it weren't for the darn straps. I love the straps. So I'm not the crazy cat lady, I'm the crazy strap lady on YouTube. So here is this very neutral strap with the C-chain dangling in front. Now, since you can't buy the C-chain very easily for a reasonable amount of money, I'm gonna put it away and I'm gonna show you something else. These chains both match the Coach hardware beautifully. One is a flat link, which is a little more comfortable if you did want to pop it over the shoulder, and one is more like an oval link. Both of these are the same length as that original C chain. I just measured them, and they're almost exactly the same length. I have put smaller rings on them, so they're a little more discreet. And you can pick those littler rings up on Etsy. You can buy a bag extender sometimes and get a couple of them that way. I know Yi Chain carries bag extenders with the smaller links, and I've done that before. It's like $6.99. You get the little extender plus two links, and then you get an excellent match with the Coach hardware. So if you look like that, you see how well that matches the Coach hardware? And I just showed it to you with this strap, but I have to say, when I use this chain strap, my favorite strap to use with this bag is this one. The Coach Tally bag came with almost this exact same strap. So if you were able to get your hands on an all chalk bag and you wanted to create this look, you could get this chain from Amazon, use the Tally bag strap, pick up a chalk Tally bag, use the strap that's similar to this one, and then the link chain. I may be totally confusing you, and if I am, I am so sorry, but I like the coach tally bags because of the straps that they come with. They don't have a big piece of leather right there. They are more like this one, but they are a wider strap than this one that comes with the field tote. So there is this fabulous bag with this ivory and chain detail strap that I got from coach probably a year and a half ago, I would say. 
And no, it's no longer available, but keep your eye open on eBay and the pre-loved websites. I just absolutely love that combination. When I sold the Ivory Pillow Tabby, I thought at first I had nothing left to go with the strap. And this is like one of my favorite straps. But I absolutely love this Coach Cassie 19 with the blush on the top, the ivory on the bottom. And then this color on the side, I believe is called Natural. I just think it's stunning with the strap. It has a little bit of a rust colored, I think it might be called brick or red sand on the piping. And that just ties in so well with the strap. So I, I love this combo and I love it with that chunky flat chain I just showed you as well. The other bag I forgot about was my Marley 20 and this is a coach style that's no longer made, but it also looks fabulous with this strap as well as this one too. Not as good, but it looks good with that one too. I have one more strap to go and it looks good with all of these bags as well. So this strap is from the Jean-Michael Basquiat artist collaboration with Coach. Of course, this artist is now deceased and was deceased when the art collaboration happened. But for the most part, I really wasn't into it. But this strap I liked, it says something like, I feel like a drifter. No, I feel like a citizen. It's time to go and come back a drifter. I don't know. I mean, it's not that I necessarily love the saying, but I think it's attractive the way it's written. And I like the color on the back side of the strap as well. And I love the little empire that's like three dimensional on the back side and how this is all embroidered. So once again, this strap is a way to dress up this bag. And because Coach does the same glazing on so many of their bags, it's not bad with this one, but with the elm colored leather on the inside, I don't think it goes with this one. So it's a definite for the Marley. I think it works with this one too. It's kind of fun with this one. There are so many colors of leather woven into this. This is made out of recycled leather that it really picks up the elm color of leather in some of these strips. When I got this bag, I found it on eBay and it is a stunner. I love it. I love how it's, the thing I love about the bags like this is they're one of a kind and they're unique. And that's why I won't get rid of this one. I just feel like it's a work of art, even if I don't carry it that much. And it's a perfect summer bag. I mean, it's just gorgeous, but this strap looks awesome with this bag. I'm going to go ahead and put on the oval link strap on this particular bag. I just can't get over how well the XIAZW company and the Yi Chain company on Amazon match the coach hardware. They also carry finishes like gunmetal and silver and also a few different shades of shiny yellow gold as well. This is the last look I'm going to show you for this bag. These straps that coach has, the novelty straps, and you can pick up some of them on their website from time to time. They are a little short. This is perfect for me. I have it almost on the longest setting. I can go down about another two inches. So I could bring it down about to here. Again, I'm 5'8", about 145 pounds. But if you're a lot taller than me or maybe have a bigger build, then of course the bag would be higher up and you might prefer to use it as a shoulder bag. If you are much smaller than me, you do have a fair amount of adjustability to go shorter. You've got one, two, so you could go up about two inches on each side, about four inches total. But I find that just playing with my straps in my closet gives me a immense amount of pleasure and relaxation, although picking up the mess I've just created is not going to be so pleasurable. But I hope it was worth it, and if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.